run a whole new world with six pack abs <laughs> and three love handles. Wait, wait, what? Well, because well, one there, two here. Anyway, the point is, I'm here with Aladdin with two Ds. Hi, Adam. That's right, two Ds. How you doing, Seth? Who looks more Persian? Neither. Both Jewish. Anywho. <laughs> Half. Uh, it's all good. It's all good. Uh, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. So. You may not know Adam that did this national tour, but he did. He was the star of Les Mis for how long? I did it for a year and a half on the road and then a year on the Broadway. Oh, he hosted it on Broadway. Totally forgot that part. <laughs> the point is, he was Marius. Now, Adam, please tell, there are many future uh, thespians watching this. Please yes. tell the future Mariuses, what is the difficult part about playing Marius? Well, um, besides, you know, climbing over the gate and not, you know, slamming your crotch into the, to the gate when you're trying to get into the roof of May, that's kind of rough. You gotta, Why? Who's ever done you know, that? Because you're, tur you're trying to turn, the table table's moving and you're trying to climb over it and sometimes your foot slips and then you go, oh, that's not good. So you got to watch out for that. So you have to um, feel like a steel dance belt. You kind of have to. You, and then, you know, get, going on and off the turntable, you got to, you know, we warm up your ankles. We don't use the turntable anymore. Now it's all projections. Oh, right, right, right. So you're fine. You know, you don't have to worry about that anymore. Um, but let's see, vocally, you know, uh, you have to sing empty chairs and it gets pretty low, right? Um, I, will conf I will concur. I used to play yes. auditions for that and everyone used to wipe out at auditions. They'd be like, da 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 Because <laughs> you know, your voice actually gets higher when you're nervous. So I'd always be playing Maris auditions and I was like, where is B. Arthur? Because no one could hit those notes. It's so true. that was actually difficult to hit the low note. Yeah, and you know, you had to hit the high ones too in, in Heart, Light, Heart Full of Love and, and the other songs. So, um, you it's have rangy. to have, yeah, it's rangy. That's what I'm trying to say. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, on some days when when the voice is maybe not as uh, as there for you, you mm -hmm. have to sort of improvise and and not necessarily rewrite the music, but per se. You know, but sometimes you can act it. Warm, you know, my right. friends are dead and gone. Okay, so that's here's one the way. Deal. That's um, a choice. So first. We're not joking. It's a really low show because it's also, you know, yeah. the, the but the tigers come at night. Everything That's has right. crazy low notes. So yes. I think Les Mis is friends for, for B. Arthur. Okay, so let us first, um, <laughs> let's show you the actual low note. Yeah. Here they talk. Here we go. This is the actual low note. Here they talked of revolution. Here it was they lit the flame. Here they sang about tomorrow, and tomorrow never came. Dorothy's morning. Uh, Golden Girls. Okay, so very, very impressive, St. Olaf. So what we were saying is for you future Marises, you know on matinee days, sometimes people are like, I'm going to opt out of the high notes. It's actually yeah. the reverse. On matinee days, you have to opt into the high note, opt out of the low note. So we're saying that future Les Mis, Marius is perhaps, give this a try. Give this a try. Plus some talk non-equity. <clears throat> Here we go. Get into the mood. You're depressed. Everyone's dead. Oh, okay. Here they talked of revolution. Here it was they lit the flame. Here they sang about tomorrow. And tomorrow never came. <laughs> That, you know, you make a point there. You start a revolution. French Revolution. Try that. Okay, so the other, um, <laughs> just a camera, you watching? The other <laughs> difficult part you were telling me was um, uh, Bring Him Home, which I know you think is crazy because Mary says to sing Bring Him Home. What is difficult about Bring Him Home when you're not actually even singing? Right, well, you're actually laying at Valjean's feet while he's singing the song. He's sitting on, you know, a crate or whatnot. And you're lying there, and depending on the, the Valjean, there are different levels of um, spit. Mm. Uh, you know, it comes from the most enunciation. Mm. And, um, you know, the British actors tend to really enunciate yeah. also the even dentures. more so. The dentures. British teeth. You know. Yeah. So, um, and depending on which Valjean you have on any particular night, uh, you may or may not get a little wet or drenched. Okay, so for fun we thought for you future marriages, because here's the deal, you're laying, and obviously your eyes are closed. So for you future marriages, we're gonna show you the amount of spit you might get during Bring Him Home, so you will know who your Valjean is. So will you take Marius's position, and then yes. you will call out who the Valjean is, and you'll help these future marriages. Okay. So I have some accoutrement to help the oh, spit. Oh, let me go this way. Yep. Bring him home. That's, that's Randall Keith. Yeah. Bring him home. 
Uh, uh, Ivan Rutherford. Mm. Bring a hymn. <laughs> Alex Gimignani. Perfect. God. Nailed it. 